and I'm gonna lose it! Whoa. Whoa, I'm confused. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kiana and I do a lot of sewing and fashion videos and today we are making a quilt jacket. Did I make this quilt jacket? No, I did not. This is my assistant Noelle's jacket. Everyone say hi, Noelle. Hi guys, this is my jacket. Tell them about your jacket. Um, this is my beautiful quilt jacket. I got it when I was studying abroad in France because it was cold and now we're gonna match. It's really cute. Every time she wears it, I'm like, whoa, slay. And Every time I wear it, I feel like that girl. What I'm girl? Like oh, that girl. <laughs> What girl? <laughs> that one girl. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that girl? It's Jess. <laughs> I was feeling really inspired today to do like a quick and easy project. We went into my fabric area and I found this quilt. Sorry, can you turn off that mic just in case it catches you breathing? Um, so this I got from my grandmother's house. She left me all of her sewing supplies and materials. So. This is beautiful, so I grabbed it, and I have a lot of it. I don't know what she was gonna make with it, but now I can make a quilt. Um, no, not a quilt. This is a quilt. Oh wait, can I have a case? <laughs> Let me show them. Assistant. <laughs> Alani new cherry limeade. Wait, cherry twist. Okay, so let's go. Make the pattern, woo! Okay friends, I'm going to teach you how to clone your clothes. So if you wanna clone anything that you got, just follow the steps that I'm gonna show you. Okay, first you're gonna need some pattern paper you can get off Amazon. Next, you're just going to trace out half of your clothes. So you're not gonna trace out the left and the right. And like for the back, it's one big piece. You're only gonna trace out half of it. When you're making a woman's pattern, you only make patterns for the right side of the garment. So that's what you're gonna do. Just make sure your garment is laying really flat against the pattern paper. And then also before you add seam allowance, make sure that all of your seams match up. So like the side seam on the front and the back of the jacket, make sure that those lengths are the same. Then once you do that, just go ahead and add seam allowance everywhere. I'm using half inch seam allowance just in the places where you need seam allowance. And then I'm just going to label my pattern. Hello, I have now finished the pattern making. I haven't made a pattern by hand since college. That was fun and inefficient. But okay, we got a sleeve, boom. We got a jacket back, which I did the wrong side for because this is the left side of the back. You're supposed to pattern on the right for a female. But this is the right side of the front. I wanna go to Target, so I'm gonna cut everything out and then go to Target because I need to get some things. So let's cut her out. Okay, so like I said, just cutting it out. You gotta cut out a lining and a shell. I will be fully lining this jacket, you know. You know, we're professionals over here. Anyways, I'm also going to pattern the heart pocket. So for that, I'm just gonna like kind of draw a heart, see what shape I like, see how big I like it. But then I'm just going to take half of it because again, we only pattern half of something so that it can be perfectly symmetrical. I added seam allowance, cut it out, cut it out of a lining piece and a shell piece twice for two pockets and then we can sew. Okay, I've cut everything out. I got the lining, I got the shell and we got some little heart pocket. Yes, ah, it's so cute. I literally like don't have to buy anything. I have, I already had lining, I already had shell. I already had white bias tape and white lace. That's everything you need. I'm doing a little heart pocket in the front. Um, for the heart pocket to finish it, I'm going to sew it with a lining, right sides together, flip it out, and then stitch on this white lace and then stitch it down onto the front. So I need to do that first. Heart pockets mini tutorial. So take your shell and your lining, place them right sides together and sew around the perimeter, making sure to leave a little section open so you can flip it right side out. Trim the seam allowance to reduce the bulk and then flip her right side out, give her a good press. And then we're just going to add the cute little lace on top of it. So I'm just going to top stitch that onto the pocket. And then once that's all connected to the pocket, I can place that on the front jacket and top stitch that down to create a functional pocket. Okay, good morning. Um, I only worked on this for three hours total last night. So I think we are at a pretty good place for three hours. I finished the pockets. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, it works. And then I started sewing the lining. I just need to pop the sleeves in. 
Oh, I also need to serge the seams. Technically, actually, I don't need to serge the seams because it's a lining, and when something's lined, you don't need to finish the seams because they'll be on the inside. But um, for me, for myself, I do because what if I wear this jacket for the next 20 years and in 20 years, the seams will fray and then get ruined. No, I need to finish the seams. So I'll be searching the seams and then I'll be inserting the set in sleeves. How long do I think it's gonna take? Let's say 45 minutes to finish the lining. Let's say 30 minutes to sew the jacket together. And then the binding, ooh, the binding might could take anywhere from an hour and a half to four hours. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, people, lining is done. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Whoa, I know I said it would be 45 minutes, but to be fair, in that time period, I sewed this and I had to do a termite guy inspection thing. He came to my house and a plumber came to my house. Basically my house is in shambles. No, I don't have termites, don't worry, but I will have to repipe the entire house. So my house will be in shambles soon. Here's my lining. Whoa. Um, now I'm gonna sew this. I have to sew this wrong sides together because the seams are all gonna be on the outside and then finished with bias tape. So wrong sides together for this bad boy. And then I can connect them and then I'll really start coming together. Woo. I told an accidental lie. I'm actually sewing the shoulder seams right sides together. That's not gonna be finished with the bias tape. But all the other seams like the side seam, well, I guess that's the only other seam. <laughs> Um, the side seams will be sewn um, wrong sides together. Oh, and the sleeve in seam. But yeah, so here I am just adding some gathering stitches to the sleeve so that it's easier to insert. Um, I'm inserting the sleeves before sewing the sleeve in seam so that I can sew the sleeve in seam with the side seam all together and add the binding to it in one go. So first I attached the sleeve cap and then I tried playing around with how to add the bias tape, which was truly a disaster. And I never wanna do it again. Hello, I'm back after multiple hours and I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it, I'm gonna lose it because I've done the bias tape on the sleeves so many times, testing out different methods. I've hated all of them. Guess what? Okay, wait, let me show you. Let me bring you on a journey. Okay, this is the first thing I did because this is how Noelle's jacket is made. They just like, Sandwich the bias tape right on here. Floop, floop. Can you see? Hold on. Let me get my eyes out so you can focus. Yeah, um, that looks so messy. Hers looks nice because like they had the little bias tape attachment on the machine probably. So I can just sandwich it like that and like whoop de doo like sew it. No, it doesn't work. It's ugly. So then I tried sewing it a couple other different ways. I have landed on sewing the bias tape like how I would normally do it from the front. You can't see any stitching because I stitch right here in the ditch. And then on the back, you have a little line of stitches. So I'm like, okay, cute. Like this is the best we're gonna get. I'm gonna lose it. So yeah, look, we would say, okay, we have one seam down, right? Wrong! Because the way I did it, the back is now the top instead of under here. So like under here looks really clean, but then up here looks like a little messy. And so I'm not into that. I'm not into that. So I'm gonna rip that off and sew it the opposite way. I am not a one day girly. I was not meant for the fast projects. I am too much of a perfectionist. I cannot cut corners. I cannot do things the wrong way. This is fun, but I'm gonna have a panic attack. Okay, here's some up close footage of how I ended up attaching the bias tape. Basically, you just attach it the right way. So um, stitch in that first little divot and then flip it closed and stitch in the ditch, making sure to catch the bias tape on the opposite side. And what that does is create a flawless finish as depicted here. So this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. Hello everyone. Okay, the day has been crazy. We've had even more plumbers and termite people come now. So we had so many people here today. We've been doing a lot. Um, I've been getting distracted. However, I did get to work on it at least a good amount. And look where we're at. Um, the shell is done. The lining is done. Finally, we can put it together. Oh my gosh, here's the thing. It's 6 11 p.m. right now. I need to walk out the door at 6 40 um, because I'm going to trivia. Woo! Noelle's coming too. Woo! 
Hello. I am delusional, but not that delusional. I'm not finishing it. So um, I'll probably stay stitch it all together and then tomorrow I'll have to finish the bias tape, which sucks because if I could just have 30 more minutes after that, we'd be done, but. What can you do? Okay, I figured out I didn't need to stay stitch the shell to the lining. I just pinned it together pretty well and then attached the bias tape while sewing together the shell and the lining at the same time. So right here, we're doing it all with one little stitch. So pretty nifty. Welcome to day three. I really hope we finish today. We have to. All I have to do left is top stitch this bias tape down on the whole like neckline hem everywhere and then i have to finish the sleeves and then we're done so i'm gonna do it really fast let's try to get it done in an hour this seam is gonna take like 20 30 minutes this one seam but um after that I'm finally done. Yay! Um, also, we added a bow with the bias tape and I added a little name tag right here. It says Keanu Bonello. How cute! I'm supposed to be doing that, or I've been meaning to do that, but I've only done it on three things in the past like three years. So like, I gotta get better at that, but cute! Okay, I'm gonna put it on because who cares about it on a dress form? Get out of here. Ta-da! Okay, here is my final jacket. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Look at the pockets. They're functional. Here's the back, the sides, the front. Look at all the freaking binding. It looks good, dude. Tell me it doesn't look good. You can't. If you are, you're a hater and a liar. Was supposed to be one day project, but it turned into like two and a half. So yay, but she's cute. I have a lot more of this fabric. I'm thinking maybe we could make like pot holders or oven mitts or whatever, maybe a matching skirt. I don't know, but I have a lot of this fabric left. So let me know what to make with it next unsure still but you'll let me know i'm sure you'll let me know anyways if you like this video feel free to give me a thumbs up it's the easiest way to support your favorite creators for free also feel free to follow me on instagram and tiktok my handle is kiana bonolo subscribe turn on the notification bell and yeah i'll see you next time bye